Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Xbox One Series controller to your PC. I'm going to be showing you three different methods in today's video, wired, Bluetooth, and then the Xbox One wireless adapter method. All these are going to be really easy to do. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. The first one and probably the easiest and most simple is going to be the wired controller. For this, all you're going to need to do is grab your Xbox Series controller. We're going to be flipping it up so we can see the top and we're simply going to be connecting a USB-C cable from the top of our controller and plugging it directly into our PC. Now on most PCs and most games, this will be picked up automatically and should work directly outside the box. As you can see, I currently have mine plugged in. The light on my controller is lighting and everything works just fine like that. The second method we're going to be using is Bluetooth. And of course your computer is going to need to have Bluetooth or you're going to need to have a Bluetooth dongle connected it to your PC. What you need to do is grab your Xbox One Series controller. We're going to be grabbing it and we're going to be flipping it to the top. And right here next to our USB-C port, we're going to see this small little black button that's going to be used for synchronization. What we need to do is make sure our controller is on. We're going to press and hold this for a couple of seconds. And then the light on our Xbox One Series controller will start to flash. And that means it's currently in a pairing and syncing mode. From this point, we're going to be coming over to our PC. I'm going to be opening up my Bluetooth device settings. As you can see, I have this open right now on my Windows search. We're going to need to make sure the Bluetooth on our Windows is on. We're then going to be searching for a new Bluetooth device. As you can see, I'm doing this right now. And in a couple of seconds, you should keep your controller close. Your Xbox wireless controller should show up here. You simply need to click on it. It'll say your device is ready to go. And then in another second or two, the light on your controller will go to full white. And this means your controller is fully connected and it should be connected up and ready to go inside Windows. The last method we're going to be doing, and it's definitely the method I would recommend doing if you're going to be using wireless, is going to be using the official Xbox One wireless adapter. What you need to do is simply plug it into your PC, press the sync button on the end of this adapter and you'll see the light will start to flash. From this point, what we're gonna be doing is grabbing our Xbox One controller, again, pushing the sync button on the top to put our controller into pairing mode. Our light will start to flash and now all you need to do is keep the controller and the adapter close to each other and then they should eventually connect and pair. This process for me only took two seconds. They connect very, very quickly and the latency is very, very little. This is definitely my preferred method if you're gonna be doing wireless instead of Bluetooth and it's definitely what I'd recommend. Again, I'll be leaving links to this in the description down below if it's something you wanna check out. It's definitely something I'd recommend. Anyway, guys, those are the three different methods you can use to connect your Xbox One Series controller to your PC. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.